anyways, all right. Phone lines are open. That's it. We've opened the phone lines. Phone lines are open. Uh, if you want to call in, if you want to talk about the shooter, guns, need some advice, anything you want, the phone lines are open. Uh, give it a little spin and uh, let's chat. And we got our first caller of the night. And I know who this is. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for calling Low Value Mail. Danny, what's uh, going on, man? Chad, how you doing, buddy? I'm all right, man. I'm good. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. My I had a little tech issue. That's two tech issues in two weeks. I know, man. I see, man. That's yeah. You got through those, man. Shoot, that's cool. I know, I know, I know. I I made it. At, I made it at the other end, you know. So, uh, how are you doing? I'm good, man. Yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about that Jordan Peterson stuff. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. The, the, I'm actually making. I'm gonna make a sketch tomorrow about about uh this whole sports illustrated thing so i was thinking of a sketch it's uh and i'm gonna make something about it okay yeah yeah, yeah. now nah, i was just thinking i was like dang what would what would, what you think was going on with him like i don't like that's that it seems a little bit out of the ordinary for him he's you know I mean? well he was on um like he was on ssris or something and then he went off of them he, he's pretty well documented that he uh he had like a really bad withdrawals and all this stuff i don't know since he got back on uh twitter he's just been angrier like really? he's you know he's like we talked about before like on boys cast and stuff but like you know he's literally just like angry like he'll <laughs> like he'll like he'll he's his microsoft office doesn't work and he's yelling at fucking he's quote tweeting microsoft and He's calling people like fucking idiots and stuff like where he was very measured before. He's just his fuse is shorter. I never knew. You know, that's crazy. I know him like just from YouTube. So I never knew his like Twitter yeah. life or nothing like that. But yeah, that's I never even knew he was like that on Twitter for real. That's crazy. He wasn't, though. He didn't always used to be like that. He used to he used to be like pretty normal on Twitter. Uh, and then he started getting more. I feel like. Not pol- I don't want to say political. He tweets a lot about Canadian politics, a lot. Uh, right. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot of his content now, anyway. Like even if you look at his YouTube videos, a lot of it's about can- uh, Canadian politics. Yeah, 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 exactly. So he has a lot of like stuff about Canadian politics. Is like, but yeah, I don't know. He's just he's mad. But he uh, it just was so funny because he honestly goes, I am gonna give my password away. Like like I'm signing off on Twitter kind of thing. And then he was just later that night. He was just back at it. Yeah, that's crazy. And then you know it's crazy because I really follow. You know, I really feel like I'm, I'm probably a person that he's helped a lot through his videos and stuff like that. But uh, it's just crazy, I guess, to see because what he be talking about a lot is like, don't be resentful. Yeah. You know? like, and then it just seems like the post that he put today was like, it, it, what else is that? I don't know what he what else he was going for other than mean and nasty yeah that what honestly it did it really did kind of uh surprise me that like because it was just like mean you're like what is the point of being like look obviously uh with sports illustrated they're trying to have a more inclusive like body type or whatever the fuck but like why right. it's the swimsuit edition and it's for men and i mean i guess they're trying to like look nobody reads these like nobody when was the last time you know anybody who's like i just picked up the new fucking sports illustrated swimsuit edition nobody yeah. does right so right. so i guess they're and you know they probably know that if they switch it up like this they'll get a lot of you know free publicity of just all the people you know making fun of them and going crazy right. you know, so on both because then then they'll also be celebrated by the other side, you know, because they're being inclusive. Exactly. So they, they, but the other those people who are celebrating them will never go buy a copy of it. Like that's never happening. So I just think they're oh, it's like a str- kind of on like, you know, the the last uh the last legs of that of that, you know, brand of the Sports Illustrated swimsuit thing. Like right. and I, I honestly believe like they probably would get less coverage if it was just a bunch of hot chicks on there not that they're not hot but i mean elon musk's mom is a, that's a bit of a stretch for <laughs> right. putting, putting on us like that used to literally be the that was you made it as like you were the top model supermodel in the world to be on the cover of sports illustrated swimsuit like that was like the crowning kind of you are the number one model in the world if i could play a little bit of devil's advocate yes please would, please do but I would feel like, because, you know, I try to give him the benefit of the, of the doubt. So it's like, I think that he is possibly talking about, like, the 
the what would you say like the the standards of beauty like like pretty much how like they're used to like pretty much i i would say throughout cultures i'm not gonna say it was the same standard of beauty but i mean yeah. certainly every culture had what they thought was beautiful but i feel like maybe that's what he was criticizing but he said nothing about that in the post yeah so exactly this- exactly he didn't even say like oh this is you know this is so different for what a year. it just yeah it was <laughs> like he, he i don't want to say he deserved what he got but he was really asking for it with that because it's not like people like him to begin with like there are obviously people like him but there's a lot of people who do not like him right at all at yeah. all right and then you know for him to fucking go do this is oh uh, but you know what i remember though that's crazy on youtube here i remember he had posted that he had uh in april i think he was saying he had like an allergic reaction or something that caused some neurological symptom mm-hmm. yeah post, like saying that so well i know I that know, his, maybe, his withdrawals are really bad from um his drugs but not but, I'm just saying, like, maybe he's ha- having, like, you know, remember when Roseanne uh, tweeted because she was off the Ambien? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's something like that, you know? Yeah, it's possible. I'm, I, I, But I just, funny, because he took so much shit, and he goes, all right, I'm off Twitter. And then he was, couldn't resist, man. Couldn't stay off. Yeah. I know it's like, yeah. he kind of popped, like, a little bit. <laughs> but also, like, the idea of people being like, oh, she's gross. She's like, she's not gross. Yeah, that was, I mean, you know. Like, I every, know. Everybody was, and everybody was trying to make it, like, putting words in my mouth where, like, that's what I was saying. I'm like, I don't think she's gross. She's obviously an attractive woman. She's just, like, you know, she's not right. the hottest woman in the world. I mean, for sure. I will die I mean, on the hill that she's not the hottest woman in the world. She's definitely not, man. I mean, but it, the thing about You're it is. You're bigot, Chad. But, You're a bad well, look, guy. Man, I know that, man. I know, look, they tell me that. <laughs> But I'm just saying, you know, yeah, she's she's definitely not to us, but to one guy, she's probably the most beautiful girl in the world. Of course, of know, course. Right? but we're we're more trying to be from like a we're not trying to be subjective about this. We're trying to be, you know, like uh, but, objective yeah, and quantify it. And we're just like, look, if you just started stopping, you know, random sample size of fifty thousand guys and just be like, rate her out of one out of ten, she's not gonna, or you know, be like, should she be on the cover of? Sports Illustrated, right. they would just be like, no. No. But that's yeah. not what they're going for. They're going, we're talking about it now. You know, people, there's probably people who are like, oh, they still make it. But I'll tell you what they're not doing. They're not fucking selling any more Sports Illustrated. I don't even, can you buy them? Or do you only, or do you have to have a subscription? I guess so. You got to go online and get a subscription and then give them your address or something like that. I, I guess, I mean, I guess people still subscribe to Sports Illustrated. And I, I guess that's one of the episodes. So, or one of the. They're, they're probably like one of the dying brands now you know yeah. like they seem like a little bit of old media yeah kind. i mean they put a two years ago i believe they put a transgender woman on the cover oh yeah i think yeah. i remember and playboy did that too that was the funny i was like playboy did that? i go hugh hefner that's that's definitely what hugh hefner envisioned playboy to be when he died was trans- <laughs> right. transgender women uh exactly. models anyways anything else you want to uh chat about uh, nah, I think I'm good, man. I let somebody else call, man. Okay, cool. Take care, buddy. All right, you too, man.